Hello, I am, and today I will guide you through four easy and effective steps for falling asleep quickly. Sleep, as we all know, is not just a luxury, but a fundamental part of a healthy life. It's the time when our bodies recharge, repair, and prepare for another day of challenges. Adults need about seven to eight hours of restful sleep every night to function optimally, but let's face it, some of us struggle with this. Falling asleep can sometimes feel like trying to solve a complex math problem in the middle of the night. This struggle doesn't only rob us of our needed rest, but it can also negatively affect our daily lives, our work, relationships, and even our health. But don't worry, we have just the right solution for you. Let's dive into the four easy steps to help you fall asleep quickly. Our first step is all about relaxation before bedtime. Imagine coming home from a long, exhausting day. You're feeling tired, your muscles are tense, and your mind is buzzing with thoughts. This is exactly the time when you need to unwind and prepare yourself for a good night's sleep. But how exactly do you do that? Well, that's what we're here to discuss. One of the most effective ways to relax before bedtime is by engaging in calming activities. For instance, reading a book can be a great way to unwind. Choose a genre that you love, something that will transport you to a different world away from your daily stressors. The act of reading not only distracts your mind, but also helps you to slow down your pace, preparing you for sleep. Another activity that can help you relax is listening to music. Soft calming tunes can lower your heart rate and blood pressure, which can lead to physical relaxation. So why not create a playlist of your favorite soothing songs? Just remember to keep the volume low to avoid overstimulation. If music or reading isn't your cup of tea, how about a warm shower? The warmth of the water can help to ease your tense muscles, providing a sense of comfort and relaxation. Plus, the drop in body temperature after stepping out of the shower can signal to your body that it's time to sleep. All these activities, be it reading, listening to music, or taking a warm shower, have one thing in common. They help to shift your focus away from the stresses of the day, allowing your mind and body to relax. This relaxation is crucial as it prepares your body for sleep, making the transition from being awake to falling asleep much smoother. Remember, the aim is to unwind and prepare your body for a good night's sleep. So choose an activity that you enjoy and make it a part of your bedtime routine. After all, sleep is not just about closing your eyes, it's about giving your body the rest it truly deserves. The second step involves creating an ideal sleep environment. A conducive sleep environment can significantly impact the quality and duration of your sleep. It's like setting the stage for a play where each element contributes to the overall performance. So, what makes for an ideal sleep environment? Firstly, darkness is key. Our bodies are designed to respond to light and darkness. When it's dark, our bodies produce melatonin, a hormone that aids in sleep. So, ensure your bedroom is dark when you're ready to sleep. You can use blackout curtains or an eye mask to block out any external light sources. Secondly, your sleep environment should be quiet. Noise can disrupt your sleep cycle and prevent you from reaching the deep stages of sleep necessary for restorative rest. You might consider using earplugs or a white noise machine to mask any ambient noise. Thirdly, keep your room cool. A lower room temperature can help trigger your body's sleep signals. The recommended temperature is around 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit, but feel free to adjust this to your personal comfort. Another important aspect is the purpose of your bed. Condition your mind to associate your bed with sleep. This means using your bed only for sleep and not for activities like reading, watching television, or working on your laptop. By doing this, your body will start to associate your bed with sleep, making it easier for you to fall asleep when you lie down. Also, ensure you have a comfortable mattress and pillows. These should support your body well and help maintain a neutral spine position. In conclusion, your sleep environment is not just about the physical space. It's about creating a place that signals your body and mind that it's time to sleep. The key is to make your sleep environment dark, quiet, cool, and comfortable. Remember, your bedroom should be a sanctuary dedicated to sleep. Your sleep environment plays a crucial role in how quickly you can fall asleep. Our third step is about maintaining good sleep hygiene. 
Sleep hygiene may not be a term you hear every day, but it plays a crucial role in how quickly we fall asleep and the quality of rest we get. So, what does sleep hygiene entail? Two key aspects are keeping a consistent sleep schedule and avoiding certain substances before bedtime. Let's start with the schedule. Our bodies function on a biological clock called the circadian rhythm. This rhythm thrives on consistency. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on weekends, helps regulate this rhythm and can significantly improve your sleep quality. Perhaps you've had the experience of getting up late on a weekend and then struggling to fall asleep on Sunday night? That's your circadian rhythm thrown off balance. Maintaining a regular sleep schedule helps you fall asleep more quickly and wake up feeling more refreshed. Now let's talk about what we consume before bedtime. Caffeine and alcohol can interfere with our sleep. Caffeine found in coffee, tea and many soft drinks is a stimulant. It can keep you awake and even if you do manage to fall asleep, it can disrupt the quality of your sleep. So try to avoid caffeine in the hours leading up to bedtime. Alcohol on the other hand may seem like it helps you fall asleep as it can make you feel drowsy. However, it can disrupt your sleep cycle causing you to wake up frequently during the night and prevent you from reaching the deeper, restorative stages of sleep. In essence, good sleep hygiene is about setting up habits that support quality sleep. This includes a consistent sleep schedule and avoiding sleep-disrupting substances before bedtime. Remember, just like maintaining personal hygiene for physical health, sleep hygiene is vital for our sleep health. It may take some time to adjust to these changes, but the benefits to your sleep and overall wellness are well worth it. Good sleep hygiene is key to falling asleep quickly and ensuring a restful night. Our final step involves practicing breathing exercises. Breathing, such a simple and automatic activity, can have a profound impact on your sleep quality. It's not just about inhaling and exhaling, it's about how you do it. One of the most effective techniques is the 478 method. This technique is rooted in yoga and promotes relaxation and calmness. Here's how you do it. Close your eyes and take a deep, slow breath in through your nose for a count of four. Hold that breath for a count of seven. Then exhale completely through your mouth to a count of eight. This completes one breath cycle. Now repeat this cycle four more times for a total of five breaths. The 478 technique is powerful because it encourages the fast release of carbon dioxide from the lungs. This, in turn, triggers a calming response in the nervous system. It's like a natural tranquilizer for the nervous system. Another technique you can try is the box breathing method. In this technique, you imagine a box in your mind and your breath follows the four sides of the box. Inhale for four counts, hold for four, exhale for four, and then hold again for four. Repeat this cycle as many times as you need until you feel relaxed. Breathing exercises not only help you fall asleep quicker, but also improve the quality of your sleep. They reduce stress, slow your heart rate, and lower your blood pressure, creating an environment conducive to deep, restful sleep. Plus, they're easy to do, can be done anywhere, and don't require any special equipment. So next time you're struggling to fall asleep, give these breathing exercises a try. Remember, like any new habit, it may take some practice before you see results. But don't get discouraged. The more you do them, the more natural they will feel and the more effective they will be. Breathing exercises are a natural and effective way to help you fall asleep quickly. We've now gone through the four easy steps to fall asleep quickly. Let's do a quick recap. Firstly, always remember to unwind before bedtime. Reading a book, listening to calming music or taking a warm shower can help you relax. Secondly, arrange your sleep environment. Make sure your room is dark, quiet and cool and use your bed only for sleeping. Thirdly, maintain good sleep hygiene. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day and avoid caffeine and alcohol before sleep. Lastly, practice breathing exercises. Techniques like the 478 breathing method can facilitate your transition into sleep. Implement these steps into your daily routine and you'll find yourself falling asleep faster and waking up more refreshed. Remember, a good night's sleep is essential for a healthy and productive life. Good night and sweet dreams.